Hey YouTube, SL Bushwhacker66 here. Um, I'm here with my review on the uh, Tiberius 8 paintball pistol. And just saw it. Here's just saw it. It comes in a nice little hard case when you get it. This is the player's pack. Um, I'm just going to be showing you um, a little bit around the gun, uh, a little bit about it, uh, it's, and uh, just about all its, all its features, all its positives, all its negatives. Um, it's just an excellent gun. One of, one of my, probably one of my favorite guns to use because it really does turn heads in the field uh, and people just underestimate um, your 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 capabilities on the field with with this marker so as you see uh, what the players pack comes with is comes with a um, a sing uh, two magazines this year's magazine uh, I'll be talking about the magazine a little bit later it comes with a single mag pouch as you see it holds uh, just one magazine there are also three round pouches available it comes with the holster, you see mine is heavily used, and obviously the Tiberius 8 paintball pistol. Um, this pistol, uh, probably I, I would say as, as little shots as the magazine holds, which is eight shots, um, this definitely has a huge advantage um, over probably most guns on the, on, on the, the woods ball or speed ball field. I've used it in both. And then this gun, uh, no, I'll, I'll first show you all the features and uh, a little bit around it. Um, ha the magazine catches right here, bottom feed, it's very realistic, it's cool in the real gun. Um, the safety is obviously right here, just a little safety switch. Uh, very, very light uh, single finger trigger. Uh, maintenance is pretty easy, uh, but getting right inside these little crevices right here in between the body and the frame uh, could get a little difficult. Um, as the uh, velocity adjustment right in the back, have nice sights, no, no complaints about it. Um, this also is really helpful, uh, tells you uh, whether there's a ball in the breech to be fired. It's, that's just really helpful, uh, helps out a lot. As you see it there a little, there you go, you see it now. Um, also the barrel, uh, you might think it's very hard to remove, but all you gotta do is press in, turn, and press out, and up, 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 uh, pops ah, the barrel, as you see here. It's not threaded, it's just a kind of a, a lock in place barrel. It's really nice. And it's actually a lot more accurate than you'd think. It's actually very accurate. Out comes the spring as well. There's a spring. And you can see, hopefully you can see the bolt in there. Very nice bolt, uh, very nice um, design. It's very sleek looking and a lot smaller and um, significantly thinner than, uh, than other pistols out there, such as the Overlord, uh, the Delta, which is huge compared to this, it's just huge. This is definitely probably the it's more it's like the, the, one of the most expensive pistols out there right now. Um, it's yeah, uh, I'll talk about the magazine a little bit. This is the magazine. I have two of them here. Uh, it's very unique. Uh, it holds the uh, 12 round. I mean, tw uh, 12 gram CO2 in the back, uh, and also the eight rounds, which I I have in here. The eight, eight rounds. Of Diablo heat, um, you just screw it in using this little uh, Allen wrench in the back here, um, and also uh, this this has a little ball counter so you know when to change the CO2 cartridges on the magazine, which is very helpful in um, large games when you need a lot of CO2 cartridges. Anyways, uh, this gun is actually a lot more accurate than you'd think for a small barrel like this. Um, I have no idea even how long it is. I'm guessing. Uh, probably around six, six, seven, eight, maybe. Uh, it's actually extremely accurate. Um, it, it does not have the range of, uh, let's say, you know, a Tipman Flatline or a r average paintball gun. It's actually a very, very short range. But um, it just, it's just so much fun having a gun and not having to look over that gigantic copper on the top. And it weighs probably uh, l maybe a little over two pounds, fully loaded. So uh, you're very light, uh, very agile with it, um, and uh, you're very capable. If, if, if you played with this gun for two years like I have, if you played with it for a really long time, you can hone your skills, and you can get really, really great at snap shooting, uh, conserving ammunition, just um, very precise shots. Um, and it's just, it's just great. Tiberius did an excellent job on the design, the um, engineering, uh, just everything, the magazine, everything on here. 
Probably the only downside to this pistol is that the only magazines that fit it are the Tiberius um, name uh, magazines and uh, some special ops magazines, and that is pretty much it. Uh, if you're going to get this gun, uh, you definitely need some of these. Just some 10 round tubes come very helpful in reloading um, those these um, small magazines. And also, you're definitely going to need these just to power them. Non screw, just the quick puncher ones, very easy. And if you're going to use a, um, a barrel uh, condom, uh, then uh, uh, they work good, but these work better. These are just a just a little um, push in ones. And no, I did not buy a spider. Spiders suck. But uh, yeah, I just found this on the ground, and it uses it works really well. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you for my for viewing my video on the Tiberius A paintball pistol. It is a uh, excellent gun. I would definitely recommend it to anyone uh, who is looking for a great sidearm or who is in for a great adventure, just walks out on the field with this. It's just a, a priceless gun to own. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching my video on everything here. Maybe one last, one last look. All right, uh, thank you for watching, and keep a lookout for my other videos.